Well, today was a bit of a time of preparation for this coming Saturday. We're going to have a short takeoff and landing competition. And uh, Dennis here has got his um, uh, De Havilland Beaver set up with wheels. Uh, you may recall that last year we showed you this plane with floats on it. <laughs> it's landing it on the grass. But uh, I guess we figured that wasn't fair to do that for the uh, competition. So he's getting it up there. But in particular, one of the things that Dennis wants to do today is to work out how to best use his flaps in this competition to both have very short takeoffs and short landings. So when you're testing out um, a plane with flaps, it generally is easier to fly these planes without the flaps. You land a little bit faster, but it tends to be a little bit less abrupt in terms of the changes and, and things like that. Um, but um, but anyway, when you're beginning to work with flaps on your airplane, what you want to do is, uh, before you try it with a landing, do it up in the air where you got some room for some errors to take place and strange things to happen. And you really need to work out how fast the, you can go with the flaps and still have it fly. Uh, so here Dennis has uh, come through and he's come through above the runway, just slow the, the flaps down to the um, uh, partial uh, deployed position. And he's just getting a feel for what that plane is like with the flaps down to get an idea of just how fast, uh, what sort of airspeed he should have when he's landing. Uh, with a tail dragger in particular, when you got the flaps down, of course it's going to produce lift at, at lower speeds. And if you come in a bit too fast, when those uh, wheels up front, the, the main gear, when they hit the ground, that's going to bounce the nose up a little bit, increasing your angle of attack. And if you've got too much speed going, it's just going to bounce way up in the air. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I'm smiling a little bit as I say that, but uh, you'll you know, get an idea of what's, uh, what happens a little bit later on. Okay, so uh, Dennis is going around, he's got his flaps down, he's getting a good feel for uh, what it's like. And uh, so now he's getting ready to come in for his first landing with the flaps down, uh, just to see what goes on. And so here we go. Do I hear anybody say, wave off, wave off? Nothing like that at all. But I can't show you this next bit. <laughs> well, the reason being, Dennis kind of threatened me. <laughs> he said, Jim, don't show that. Don't put, don't post that. Uh, it was really a halfway decent landing. Uh, I had a bit of a bounce to it. And um, that's, as I said, you know, just uh, something, uh, a matter of coming in a little bit too hot. Uh, with those front wheels, the nose comes up and it decides to go flying again. But uh, Dennis recovered very well and it was really a very nice landing. Now next, Dennis is going to be working on his uh, short field takeoffs. Naturally, for the um, De Havilland Beaver, they need to do that up in Canada. And so here he shows how it's done. You know, a little bit like an ICBM rocket, you know, with vertical takeoff. But, uh, yeah, well done. Well, let's have a close look at that in slow motion. See just what he's doing. So he um, sees starting out with a bit of up elevator. That's uh, both needful in the fact he's giving it a lot of power at the start and he doesn't want it to nose over. And also he wants to encourage that thing on one of these little bounces on the bumps on the ground uh, for the thing to take a bit of a more of a nose up attitude and get going. And so off he goes. As he gets into the air, you can see that the elevator is uh, leveled out. And uh, so he's just uh, been satisfied that he's got the right uh, angle of climb with plenty of power, and off he goes. And by the way, Dennis did do really well with that takeoff, uh, by my reckoning. Very careful engineering measurement, uh, utilizing the lolly wrapper and um, <laughs> my screen. I worked out that he took off in about three lengths of his airplane. So that's not half bad. I'd like to see them do that with the real thing. But anyway, I hear Dennis comes in for a, another shot at a landing, a very precise one, and he's working at uh, getting it touched down just beyond the mark that's on the grass. And so he's coming in there, 
trying to have a very controlled descent, and boy, he came really close. Um, did excellent with it. So well done, Dennis. So, we're not done yet. We're still practicing and working on these techniques. And so, Dennis is getting set up for another short field takeoff and starting from the line that he's uh, put down on the grass. And off we go again. So, let's watch carefully. Let's see what he does with his elevator, especially. Pedal to the metal, and off he goes, pretty much like the, uh, the last one. Kind of a duplicated effort with um, the same excellent set of results. And under close examination of that takeoff, he's actually done better than the previous one. As you can see from this image here, this is right when his uh, wheels are just leaving the grass. It looks to me like his nose is just over two plane lengths from the line. <laughs> That's not too bad at all. Here he is coming in for another landing. It reminds me a bit of carrier landings where they have to be very precise and so it tends to be a bit hard when they hit because they're uh, uh, following a certain glide path coming in and when they touch down, they touch down. So he's working for that very precise set down as compared to just holding it off and holding it off and you know, uh, making it as smooth as possible. He's going for precision. But now we're going to see if we can even improve on what is already amazing and outstanding. So Dennis is getting lined up for another precise takeoff. And getting up to the line there. I gotta make sure he's not cheating and yeah, just behind the line. And are we ready? Okay. Whoa, look at that, will you? Yes, it does look like Dennis has topped his personal best. <laughs> Looking at this, I'd say we're about two plane lengths from the line. But the thing that especially has made this one dramatic is to see what he did with the elevator right after liftoff. Here we have that takeoff in slow motion. As you can see, slight up elevator. As he's holding that in as he's um, seeking to get off the ground. As he comes off the ground, he retains that slight up elevator until he gets to a much steeper angle of attack. Well, <laughs> that's a way to make a very dramatic takeoff. Thank you, Dennis, for showing us how it's done. And for you, our viewers, thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I think you'll find that there's lots of interesting things that we produce week after week. And uh, we would really love having you on board. All of the best. This is RC Jim, signing off.